Hello all. In this video we are going to see how to install OpenCV with CUDA support on NVIDIA Jetson Nano. To avoid lengthy videos, we have divided this tutorial in two parts. In this first part, we will see brief theory about what is CUDA, what is an OpenCV, why we need OpenCV with CUDA support for Jetson Nano, what are the prerequisites, and so on. Then next video is all about demo and practical session. We will see how to enlarge the memory swap of Jetson Nano, which will help us to build OpenCV from its source. Then we will see how to build and install OpenCV on Jetson Nano using a single installation script. And finally, we will also test web camera and CSI camera with some cool OpenCV object detection programs. So we recommend you to watch both videos carefully to understand the concepts and procedures. Okay, now let's get started and see the first part of this tutorial. As we know, the NVIDIA Jetson Nano is a small powerful computing platform designed for edge AI applications, such as robotics, IoT devices, computer vision and deep learning projects. Despite its compact size, it includes a GPU based on NVIDIA's Maxwell architecture, which supports CUDA, making it capable of performing GPU-accelerated computing tasks. So, what is CUDA? CUDA stands for Compute Unified Device Architecture. It is a parallel computing platform and programming model developed by NVIDIA. Parallel computing is a type of computation in which many calculations or processes are carried out simultaneously. CUDA enables developers to use NVIDIA GPUs, graphics processing units, for general purpose computing, also known as GPGPU, general purpose computing on graphics processing units. CUDA is designed to exploit the parallel nature of GPUs, which have thousands of cores that can execute computation simultaneously. This parallelism allows for significant performance improvements in tasks that can be divided into smaller, independent operations. The main task of CUDA is offloading computation. In a typical application using a CUDA accelerator, the main program runs on the CPU, but the computationally intensive parts, for example, matrix multiplications, deep learning model training, large-scale simulations are offloaded to the GPU. The GPU, acting as the accelerator, processes these tasks much faster due to its parallel architecture. A CUDA accelerator refers to the use of NVIDIA GPUs, graphics processing units, as specialized hardware accelerators to perform computational tasks faster than a traditional CPU, central processing unit. The term accelerator in this context highlights the GPU's role in speeding up specific types of computations, particularly those that can be parallelized. Here are some use cases of CUDA accelerators. It can be used in machine learning and AI for training deep learning models, which often involve processing large data sets through many layers of neural networks, benefits greatly from GPU acceleration. Then in scientific simulations, CUDA can help to perform complex simulations in fields like physics, chemistry, and biology that require solving large systems of equations or processing vast amounts of data in parallel. Next use case is data analytics. CUDA can accelerate high-performance data processing tasks such as real-time data analysis, financial modeling, and large-scale database queries. And finally, in typical graphics and image processing. Here CUDA can perform tasks like rendering 3D graphics, video processing, and image recognition, where GPUs are traditionally used but can also be leveraged for general-purpose computing. So you must have been wondering how Jetson Nano supports CUDA. As Jetson Nano comes with GPU which has 128 CUDA cores based on the Maxwell architecture. Therefore, these cores are capable of running parallel computations, making the Jetson Nano suitable for tasks like image processing, neural network inference, and other AI-related workloads. Hence Jetson Nano can run deep learning models using frameworks like TensorFlow, and PyTorch with CUDA acceleration. This is useful for applications like object detection, facial recognition, and autonomous navigation in robotics. Further, 
CUDA can be used to accelerate computer vision algorithms, such as image classification, segmentation, and optical flow, making the Jetson Nano ideal for real-time video processing tasks. In robotics, the Jetson Nano can use CUDA to process sensor data in real-time, enabling tasks like SLAM, simultaneous localization and mapping, and obstacle detection. Now let's talk about the OpenCV on Jetson Nano, the main topic of our video. So what is OpenCV? The OpenCV means Open Source Computer Vision Library is an open source software library used for computer vision, machine learning, and image processing. This library is written in C++ but has interfaces for other programming languages, including Python, Java, and MATLAB. It provides a wide range of tools and functionalities that allow developers to process, analyze, and manipulate images and videos, making it a popular choice for tasks like object detection, image recognition, and facial recognition. So in this tutorial, we are going to see how to install OpenCV on Jetson Nano. But surprisingly, OpenCV already comes pre-installed with Jetpack OS. Yes! means the operating system of Jetson Nano already has OpenCV pre-installed. So why would we need to install OpenCV on the Jetson Nano again? Because the main reason is that the shipped version, that is the OpenCV version comes with Jetpack OS, has no CUDA support. And after all, it is the CUDA accelerator is the one of the main reason we bought the Jetson Nano, isn't it? So if there is no CUDA support for OpenCV, then what's the benefit of 128 CUDA cores of Jetson Nano? What's the benefit if those CUDA cores are not supposed to utilize for the tasks for which they are originally included there? So in this video tutorial, we will see how to install the OpenCV on Jetson Nano with CUDA support. It will also support CUDNN, the CUDA Deep Neural Networks. So please note that typically there are three ways to install OpenCV on a Jetson Nano machine. First, we can use pip, means the Python package manager to install OpenCV. But this distribution come without CUDA bindings, so you gain nothing. Even worse, the installation is likely to interfere with the already existing OpenCV. And what's more, it doesn't even support C++ programming. Then another way of installing OpenCV on Jetson Nano is, we can also use sudo apt get install method. But this also missing CUDA support. So, in fact, the only method to install the latest OpenCV on the Jetson Nano with CUDA and CUDA Deep Neural Network support is by building it from the source. So let's use this method. In this method, there are two ways we can go with. First is a little bit hectic, that is installing all dependencies one by one, using command line, and then compile and build the source manually. The second way, and it is the easiest way, is that use the installation script. Yes. There are installation scripts for different version of OpenCV given on our GitHub repo, which you can use to execute all those commands at once. Let's do it, but before that, we have to resize and enlarge the memory swap. Means we have to increase the swap memory of Jetson Nano. So what is a swap memory? In Linux, swap memory is like a safety net for your computer's RAM memory. Think of RAM like a desk where you work on tasks. When the desk is full, you need a temporary place to put your extra papers. That's swap memory, a reserve space on the hard drive where the computer can move less important tasks to free up desk space, means our RAM space. When RAM is full, the computer swaps less important data to this reserve space, allowing more important tasks to use the RAM. This helps prevent the computer from crashing or slowing down too much. In short, Swap memory is like a temporary storage area that helps your computer manage its memory and keep running smoothly. So please note that building the complete OpenCV package by utilizing all four cores of Jetson Nano requires more than 8.5 gigabytes of swap memory. So we know that Jetson Nano comes with two variants, two gigabytes RAM and four gigabytes RAM. Please note that we have tested this OpenCV installation procedure with the 4GB variant of Jetson Nano, which is currently available with us. But we haven't tested it on 2GB variant due to unavailability of hardware. So, please let us know the results, 
or any issues during installation if any of you ever try to install it on 2GB Jetson Nano. Please remember, if you are using 2GB variant, you have to increase swap to maximum 4GB, and then test it, so it will become total 6GB of memory, including 2GB RAM plus 4GB swap. Although, it is not enough to utilize all four cores of Jetson Nano, so it will build OpenCV using only one core, and will take some more time like somewhat around 5 to 6 hours. Then, if you have Jetson Nano with 4 gigabytes of RAM, just like us, then follow along. Here you can see in this image our Jetson Nano has 4 gigabytes of RAM and 2 gigabytes of swap space. This another image shows the results of ZRAM CTL command. It shows that 2 gigabytes of swap space, which we are seeing here, is delivered by ZRAM. It usually found on your Jetson Nano. You can see that in this another image. So as we know, Without enough swap memory, the compilation will crash around 100% without notification, especially when using all four cores simultaneously. Obviously, there must be enough free space on the SD card. With 2 GB left, you never get the required 4 GB swap space. So, how we can achieve this? We will temporarily tweak with system files to increase the ZRAM swap limits to 4 GB. Then we will also install swap file package and utilize 4 GB memory of SD card as a swap memory. It is better that you temporarily use the SD memory. When OpenCV is installed, we will remove whatever tweak we have done and remove the swap file again. Okay, now first let's see how to increase ZRAM swap limits. So, for that we have created detailed guide on GitHub. Let's go to our repository for this tutorial. Here is the one. So, on this repository you will get all the information and documentation regarding this tutorial, the script files and codes. Above here is the link of this repo, we will share it in description. So you have to go to this folder named Enlarge Swap. This one. On this folder you will find this readme file with detailed guide. So you can see here we have explained all the procedure with commands and its related screenshots. You can go through this document for more details. Now let's see the demo of how to resize and enlarge memory swap. Please follow along. We will see the full-fledged demo in next part of this tutorial. Stay tuned. Alright, that's it. This was the first part of this tutorial. To avoid lengthy videos, we have divided this tutorial in two parts. In this first part of this tutorial, we have seen brief theory about what is CUDA, what is an OpenCV, why we need OpenCV with CUDA support for Jetson Nano, what are the prerequisites, and so on. In next part of this tutorial, we will see about demo and practical session. We will see how to enlarge the memory swap of Jetson Nano which will help us to build OpenCV from its source. Then we will see how to build and install OpenCV on Jetson Nano using single installation script. And finally, we will also test web camera and CSI camera with some cool OpenCV object detection programs. Stay tuned for more projects and tech updates. If you face any difficulty in replicating our DIY projects, feel free to ping us on Telegram or WhatsApp. You can also send us email at info at the rate make to explore.com. We would be happy to help. Thank you.